Take you back down to Miami, and FP's going to join us for a couple of minutes. So Ray and I were just talking about you can't worry about anybody else. You've got to worry about yourself and get things done with your own ball club. Another tough loss, FP, in Miami. Yeah, I mean, what do you say except for, you know, Ray's been in pennant races before. I've been in a few myself. And you're going to lose games. You're not going to win them all. But it's how you lose games that I feel like can you recover from what happened against the Mets. Those are punches to the gut losses. You know, that's a quiet clubhouse after those games. You had the team right there in front of you. You had some winnable games in St. Louis. You come back, you beat the Braves. You had some winnable games against the Mets. And then you lose late. And Ray knows as well as anybody, when you lose late, those are the ones that are tough to overcome as a ball club any time of year, let alone in a pennant race in September. So you're just hoping that there's, that, I mean, as a player right now, you have to go to places that maybe you've never gone before to try to keep this thing going. But right now, guys, I mean, you can't put lipstick on this. It doesn't look good. <laughs> That's right, buddy. Hey, a question um, that maybe you can answer better than anybody, um, not just because you're baseball acumen, but because of the fact that you have been in pennant races and you've gone from year to year, sometimes with things going right, and the next year, a very good ball club, things going wrong. I know I've been on those ball clubs. Last year, things went really well for this ball club. Early on, struggled, but then got hot and just played better than anybody in baseball. This year, we struggled so much early because of injuries. Uh, after everything got kind of in order, FP, did you still sense the same type of mentality, attitude, uh, atmosphere in the clubhouse? Well, that's hard for me to say, Ray, because I'm not down there as much as they are. You know, I walk through for 10 minutes a day. I will say this, as a ball player, when you see uh, Bartolo Colon making a behind-the-back play at first base, and you see Daniel Murphy, who's not known for his defense in Philadelphia, dive for a ball and just flip it blindly to first, and it's on the money, and you have trades that didn't happen, and then the trades happen, and you get a Cespedes instead of a Carlos Gomez, it just seems like things are going their way. And baseball players on other teams see that too. So these guys down here are seeing that. And sometimes it's your time. And it was the Nats' time in 12. It was their time in 14. They're really going to have to turn this thing around if it's going to be their time in 15. But just based on experience as a player, a ball that just hits the line is fair or just hits the line is foul, you start thinking, is this our time? And they're seeing stuff uh, that we see. And, and they know that maybe the momentum's in New York right now. So as far as the clubhouse goes, Ray, I can't really say. There's 30 guys down there. They all might be thinking different things. But from what we see as former ball players and what's going on in New York and what's going on here, it just seems like right now, I mean, Terry Collins can't make a bad decision. He's like, yeah, you go hit. It's a home run. He's on a roll right now, and he's got the horseshoe going, and they have the momentum going, and everything they're doing is right. And you see the Nats tonight. That bunt play kind of signifies everything that's not going right for them. And FP, I think Jason Worth put it best. There are still 22 games to go. There's no number which says the Nationals have been mathematically eliminated from any chance of winning the National League East. So you can't change this. All you can do is go tomorrow and change tomorrow. Yeah, and you got to come out with energy and passion and emotion, and you got to want it more than the Mets do right now. And I didn't see that tonight, to be quite frank. FP Santangelo down in Miami. Thank you, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks. Okay.